Hey YouTube, welcome back to Sauce Man's Garage. It's been a bit since we uh, posted a little bit of a shutdown and due to COVID and stuff here and uh, our projects kind of came to a bit of a halt. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick video on um, if you have a, a small welder like I do, this is a Clark um, 100EN Turbo. I use gas for my MIG welds and um, I was searching for a heck of a long time to try and figure out how to make the connection between the, um, the gas regulator here. I have a standard um, glass tube uh, flow meter there, comes down. And uh, to make the connection between the, um, the, the regulator, CO2 argon regulator, which is this side here, and uh, the small little tube that comes out of the uh, out of a lot of these welders. Um, this tube is ridiculously small, and I uh, looked online. You can get like a specialized fitting, but super expensive. So I wanted to make this quick video to show you. So what I have is I purchased um, a hose barb connection. That is it there. It is a one quarter inch hose barb by one quarter MPTK. It's basically um, basically that uh, this sucker right here. So that hose barb, the one quarter by one quarter, it it's right there. So that's the hose barb right there. So what I've got is a hose barb into the outlet connector of the um, of the of the regulator. That that this piece comes standard. And then I've got a piece of uh, quarter inch fuel line here that uh, with a with a with a uh, hose clamp. And then what I've done here is I've heat shrunk on three layers. You really only need two because I had a heck of a time getting this sucker on. But um, three layers of um, of basically just some heat shrink. And uh, what I used is I used the five millimeter heat shrink. So I used two five millimeter heat shrink and one seven and a half millimeter heat shrink. Two of those, one of these, and heat shrunk them on. Like I say, you really only need the two. So you do two five millimeter heat shrink there. So you build up that um, outside diameter of this small gas tube and then push it into that um, quarter inch fuel line with another hose clamp and now it's sealed up tight as a drum. I put it in the uh, bucket of soapy water. I've also sprayed it with soapy water and uh, it is finally sealed up. So if you're looking for an easy way to um, get your gas regulator, which is a standard gas regulator for MIG, your CO2 argon mix, this standard regulator comes out, right, of the with this large diameter hose, kind of comes along. And then that connection's a real pain to try and couple that connection to this small little, I wanna say this this is like a five millimeter tube, real pain. But anyways, that connection, um, it's completely airtight and uh, my gas is now holding uh, where I started instead of bleeding down. I always had to uh, worry about the bleed down and I always had a little bit of gas um, leakage. So there you go, easy way to connect these small little welders um, with gas to a regular um, CO2 argon regulator uh, for a leak-free a leak-free connection. All right, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Lots of good stuff coming up from Sauce Man's Garage, so stay tuned.